All right, so big caveat on the source here, guys. This comes from Oddity Central. But it made Oddity me Oddity Central, Tom? Oddity Central. I know. Oddity Central, Tom? And also, also there is a there is an embedded video Wait. from The Telegraph. Yes. Yep. The thing is, I, I and I, and Cecil, I did see that from The Telegraph, and that's why I felt comfortable. And I'll be blunt, I didn't go try to source this somewhere else because I just thought it was, it just reminded me actually of, again, a citation needed episode. This comes from Oddity Central. Politician drinks water from polluted Holy River to prove it is clean, ends up in the hospital. It's also, it's also in I fucking love science. It's on Yahoo. It's on Business Insider too. Yeah. So it's, so it's it, made its it, way around. It looks like it's made its way around. Yeah. And again, there's, there's a link from the Telegraph um, which which is in here? It's an embed from their from their YouTube channel, and that does go to their YouTube channel. I did check that. So, so there is a river. It's the Kali Bine or Kali Bean. I I'm sorry, I'm probably mispronouncing. It's a holy river um, for people that are of the Sikh faith, um, and it is an incredibly polluted river. It's a nasty old fucking grody polluted river. It's been cleaned up a little bit, but it's still a river. So it's still full of blah. <laughs> and this fucking guy was like, yeah, it's a holy river. So it's totes fine. And he drops a fucking glass in there and fucking well, drinks some drink to show everybody that it was fine. And the guy ends up getting the big tummy rumbles. <laughs> he has to go here. And it's not just like he got the squirts. Right. He had like an airlifted to a hospital, <laughs> man. Like that's like a leg. Like, like what is it? Battery acid? What did you drink, man? <laughs> holy shit. God damn, get a life straw. What's wrong Holy, with you? Right? Wouldn't it have been God funny damn, if he dropped a life straw on that thing? Drank, Bear Grylls drank his own piss and he didn't have to get airlifted <laughs> into a hospital. <laughs> Did he? Like, he squeezed water from a fucking elephant poo and drank it and was fine. What is in your he river? Got, he didn't even get elephant lifted to the hospital after that. <laughs> yeah, man. Well, and, that, and the thing is, is they had said, they had said that like, like, I think he was doing it for a couple of reasons. One, it's a holy river to the Sikh because it's right. believed that that's where the founder of Sikhism, he bathed it in and achieved enlightenment. I mean, I don't, okay, okay, cool. He sat in the bath and thought, wow, it's cool to be alive. I don't know what happened. But anyway, he, this guy also is one of the people who's, I think, been sort of spearheading a, a weight or at least someone around him in his periphery has been sort of spearheading the cleanup of this. And so it's been, I think they're trying to prove that it's clean and they're, they didn't carry the one. <laughs> yeah. Right. But this, and instead got carried to the hospital, carried to the hospital. Yeah. Like, you know, even if it was clean of pollutants, rivers are full of like Giardia and stuff. Oh, I know. Yeah. Like, even if you like, all kinds it, of who shits in there. Lots of yeah. things shit in that water, man. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Why are you doing you, you should not be drinking that. You got to run it through a filter of that brain-eating amoeba before you put it in your <laughs> body, you know? This reminded me so much of, I think it's, wasn't it Midge? Thomas Midge? Yeah, Thomas Midgley. He's like fucking the leaded gasoline guy that eventually got all the bad leaded gasoline stuff happened to him. Yeah, dude, like... In front of a crowd of reporters was like, oh, everyone's afraid of tetraethyl lead. It's no problem. Look, I'll wash my hands and tetraethyl lead. I've got to go to the hospital now. <laughs> <laughs> like, what the fuck? Like, these, like, demonstrations of I totally promise it's safe. It oh, reminds man. me, too, like, did you watch Tiger King? Yeah. There, there's a, like, I listened to this long form podcast about it and I watched it. So I don't remember if it was on the documentary or not, but the guy who shoots himself accidentally in the head with the gun was doing it to prove to the other guy that the gun wouldn't like, he, he was like, Oh you, yeah. Like, why don't you take the clip out? Like it's totally safe. And then it's like shoots himself in the head and doesn't like take the bullet out of the chamber. No, there was a bullet in the chamber. I remember that. Right. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. It was the guy it was like his, it was like his lover or whatever. Right. Yeah. But the he was, he was Tiger trying King's to prove lover. to somebody else that like, it was totally fine and safe <laughs> and doesn't take the Do bullet out of the, the chamber. <laughs> It's like these, do that in the air and then be like, thank goodness I didn't put that up to my head. <laughs> Same thing here. It's like, do that in a test tube and then be like, thank God I didn't put that in my body and have to get airlifted to a hospital. Right. You know what right. this reminds me of too, Tom, is do you remember that um, 
the Virgin Mary that was like sewage oh, and people yeah. were like licking her toes and like getting sewage poisoning. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, there was that guy. Remember we went to like Tam and that guy had like basically been like run out of the country because he was yeah. trying to dis he was trying to show everybody like there's like a sewer pipe. It's not yeah, it's like, like a sewer pipe, man. Leaking joy She's water from like heaven. She's not like crying. <laughs> She's right. not crying. The tears of heaven. That's a poop, man. It's like, look, I, like that statue's dry as fucking Ben Shapiro's wife. Like it's just got fucking <laughs> poo water dripping out of it. Are you serious? What? Uh, so it's Ben Shapiro's mouth is what you're saying. <laughs>